Hey guys, it's Kiki here. Hey guys, it's Kiki here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications, that way you know when I post. Also follow me on social media so you can keep up with me when I'm not on here. And if you are returning, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing some clip-ins. These are by Shake and Go. These are the Naked Brazilian Virgin Remy clip-in. They are nine pieces. And um, the cool thing about these are that you can dye them, you can bleach them, you can chemically process these. So I'm very excited because we're gonna be doing that this time. But yes, these are 100% human hair. You can dye, bleach, perm them, like wow. These are type four coils. So I will show you what that looks like in the pack. And on the back, it goes into detail about the different types of web clips and then the quantity of those as well so just for your information uh these are um the coil curl 14 inch these are type 4 curls which is what i am so i am so excited there are nine clip ends in here and they sent me two packs two packs of these so we're gonna be testing them out and doing some hairstyles and yes I will bring you along with me now because we are gonna be bleaching but before I do that I want to show you what the hair looks like outside of the package it's just oh it looks so soft already These clip-ins are so soft. This makes, ooh, do you see this? I'm not even, I'm being like 100% real right now. And yes, this is in the color natural black, which is pretty much what I am. So yeah, I'm pretty close. Uh, I don't know if my hair is darker. I think this is darker. I don't, it's like some type of, different tone going on I don't know what it is let's move on over I'm gonna be bleaching the hair on my vanity over there so I don't make a mess so I can lay everything out and just be good cuz I'm messy all right guys so we are starting out with a bowl and a brush this was four bucks from Sally's it came with this clamp that I won't be using as well as gloves and I picked up 30 volume developer as well as two packs of bleach this is clair oil blue collider colors and this is meant for dark hair so i'm just placing the bleach in the bowl and then i'm going to add in my developer and mix that all up to create a creamy consistency add more developer if you need to uh, and once I'm done, this is what it looks like, very creamy. So now I'm just gonna use that and the brush and apply the bleach at the bottom. I wanna go for more of an ombre look. Where I work at, I can't have unnatural colors. So we are going for a nice honey brown. Um, so I'm just placing that on the ends and making sure to work that product in because I wanna make sure that all of the pieces are fully coated and once I'm done I just fold that section up in the aluminum foil so I can slide it away and let it do its thing and I'm just moving on and doing the same steps on the rest of the hair um, for sure if you're using two packs of this hair and you're deciding to bleach you need at least two or more packs of bleach because I had to ration out on the last couple of clip-ins so some pieces did turn out darker than others, but I honestly like that because it gave it more dimension. And now that I'm all done, I'm going to allow that process for about 20 minutes or so. This is what I have so far. In total, I think I let it sit for about 30, 35 minutes. So after that next 20 minutes, this is what the hair is looking like. Colors changing nicely. 
so I did rinse that out and deep condition that allowed it to sit for a couple hours and this is my result nice honey brown and I like how the bleach does not bluntly cut off it kind of bledges out I think I said that right <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take my Revlon One Step hair dryer and I'm just going to make the hair a little bit less defined as it dries. Um, I want kind of a poofy afro look going on. I don't want this look to be as defined. So I didn't allow it to fully dry, but partially. So now for the styling, I did put my hair into six chunky cornrows in the back and section off two in the front so i'm just going to place my clip-ins on my head according to the size of the area and i really can't get over how soft this hair is like it is so soft and i really appreciated the fact that i did super chunky braids that helped with the actual clips uh, because i have done smaller braids in the past and it was harder to actually clamp the clip in into place so this allowed for a more comfortable uh, installation so I am happy about that so now that I'm done putting the clip ins in I am working on the front with my extreme wet line gel and I'm just going to spray the first section with water and apply the gel around the perimeter of that section so I can get a little sleekness going on and then I'm going to take my my fine tooth comb and just brush that in to distribute the product and then I'm going to begin doing a chunky braid. I did it kind of loosely because y'all know I do not like tension. So yes, I do recommend not pulling your hair out when you do braids. And y'all the way is coming through a little bit looking shiny. So I did go ahead and do the other side of camera and I am just giving you a glance at what that looks like. So now I'm just going to tie that down with my scarf while I finish the rest of my makeup off camera so that can dry. And now that that's done, it's still kind of wet but it, this is what it's looking like. And after I defined my hair with the gel in the front, I feel like it matched this texture a lot better. And I would say this is about a 4A of uh, slash 4B, I guess. So I don't know. You tell me down below. So I just braided that clip in there. I ran out of bobby pins. So I am just placing the hair under a clip in that's already down. And I'm going to do the same on the other side if that makes sense. So the clip in is actually holding that in place. And after that's done, I am just going to fluff that piece over there so you can't see it. And this is look number one, y'all. Look how soft these curls are. I know you see it, like, and this is how the back looks. Like, look at the different types of browns. Like, I really like the dimensions in there. So as you can see, I'm super impressed, but we're going on to look number two. I just took three clip ins and placed it in the front. And I did happen to find one bobby pin, so I'm just gonna place that there to make it a little bit shorter so it can act as bangs. And once that is fluffed out, this is what I have for look number two. It's so cute. And I can say the bleach did change the hair texture just a tad, but y'all, this hair is still soft, it's still bouncy, it's still light. It just looks so good. Look at look. <laughs> So for style number three, I'm just going to place my hair into a loose puff at the top and then I'm going to take my scarf here and just wrap that around and create a cute little style with my scarf. And this is style number three. Y'all, I cannot get over these looks. I have had so many people say, oh my gosh, you bleached your hair. And once I tell them the clip ends, they're like, what? Are you serious? Like, this looks like my hair. Like, I cannot deal. 
I'm very impressed with these clip-ins. Like I said, you can bleach, dye, chemically process them. You can do as you can do with your real hair. So check them out. I'll leave the link down below. I appreciate you Shake and Go for reaching out to me and collaborating. And I hope you like, comment, subscribe. And I will see y'all later. Bye.